we recorded in New Zealand at York Street Studios. We were the last band to record there and, until they um, pulled it down and turned it into an apartment block. But it was this amazing studio. And um, our producer, Clint Murphy, um, just worked really hard with us. And, and um, yeah, we're just really proud of the album. It's I think a lot of the songs are quite different. There's no two songs that are alike and um, we're exploring some new avenues sonically with it and we're just really really happy the way it came out. Um, everybody's tight and um, we all know what triggers everybody off and what can calm everybody down you know. <laughs> yeah, let's just say we don't hate each other so that's good. <laughs> no we're not allowed to hate each other or fight but no it's we, we don't we all, un- we all understand what everyone else wants from the music and we're all here for the same thing so um, this is the easiest band I've ever been in as far as getting on with folks and, and just it being cruisy because we're all on the same page. You know? Yeah, there's a middle scene there. There's not a lot of venues and there's not a lot of support for the bands that are starting out and the crowds are smaller, you know, just sort of um, per capita. But I think with this sort of music, hard rock, heavy metal, it's always a loyalist thing. So the people that love it, love it. And the people that don't get it will probably never get it. But um, it's a strong scene in, in the sense that um, a lot of bands are still grinding away and, and working their asses off because they want to play music. And whether they get successful or not is kind of by the wayside. So it's really about the loyalty to the music and, and to yourself, playing what you want to play and being true to, your, true to yourself. The scene needs a lot. It needs a kickstart over there. It needs a lot more venues and, and more people coming out, obviously. But... Um, it's still it's still a pretty cool scene. There's a band called The Nod who've been around forever and they're really good. Um, Cripple Mr Onion are another great band. Cora, I love Cora. They're mm. great. Um, I guess you'd call them somewhere between reggae and rock, really. They're a great band. Yeah, um, Shapeshifter for me, they're sort of uh, electronica, but real cool band to see live. Um, metal bands, probably Team Kill. They're really really cool. And um, Caesar Conflict, <laughs> that's his other band. Yeah. Team Cool is my partner's band. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, gosh, now uh, eight foot sativa. Yeah, eight yeah. foot sativa. There's yeah. heaps, man. I just can't think right now. You missed World War Four, Jenny. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. In World War Four, which is Paul's other band as well. <laughs> yeah, we opened for Coheed and Cambria, and it was a dream come true. Yeah, it was that's pretty all I'm cool. About to say. Yeah. What was that? 2013, April 23rd, that I yeah. remember <laughs> or anything. What time, Nick? Uh, about 7.30. Yeah. yeah, I think it was, yeah. <laughs> um. We got to open up for Slash for two shows, which was really, really cool. And um, we opened up for Motley Crue with Alice Cooper. Last and year, um, that was cool. amazing. Al- Alice Cooper were just incredible. What a, what a great band. And we sort of got to hang out with them for a little bit. And yeah. um, that was pretty yeah, way cool. Yeah, I think the year before that we played with Five Finger Death Punch. That's right. And um, Rob Zombie. And Rob Zombie as well. So that was and Megadeth. It, and Megadeth. So that was that was pretty cool getting open for those guys. But I've got to say, Slash for me was like a pretty uh, pretty cool moment to, to share the stage with such an icon. You know. Is that anyone you'd love now? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath. Deftones, Faith No More. <laughs> uh, uh, between the buried and me, but yeah, well. We're working on it. Yeah, we're working we're on it. <laughs> the proximity to Antarctica yeah. really um, sort of weighs heavily on you when you see all these awesome bands touring Australia but not coming to New Zealand. There's yeah. a lot of that. Um, history. Uh, the history here in the UK is just incredible. We, we don't really have a lot of stuff that's more than 200 years old um, back home. So I'm really buzzing out on, on all the beautiful history and historic buildings and stuff in the UK. But, um, yeah, back home... It's a, it's a beautiful place to live, it really is, and the weather's great. <laughs> yeah, New Zealand, it really is. It's a cool place, the climate's awesome, but I think the thing is, is it's a little bit isolated, so for, for bands, it's, it's, it's tough to get out of New Zealand. Um, they, it's, there's a big expense hanging over everybody's heads, and it, it makes a, it's a real challenge. And there's, there's just over four million people there, so, um, you know, we need more of everything, really. Rock, rock fans are rock fans and metal fans are metal fans. You know, they're all sort of thrown in the one lump for me, but they're passionate about the music and we've met a lot of great people since we've been playing over here and um, they're similar to the folks back home. They just love it and live it and breathe it. The only difference is they get to see a lot more bands over here than we do back home. But the pr- it's, a p- it's a passionate, loyalist sort of genre, I think. So um, we're meeting folks that 
over here that have been traveling for miles and miles to come see yeah. us and you know they're, they're right into it so yeah it's pretty special well i think coming from new zealand we've only got a limited amount of venues and a lim- limited amount of space and a very small population so you can do it a couple of times and then what do you do you've got to play somewhere else so we need to get over here we need there's more more country for us to cover and you know we can keep knocking through the venues you know and there's more crowds and new zealand's very very small so we, we need to come over here to to broaden to get any bigger i love the underworld underworld is the underworld in london's awesome. a great venue yeah. yeah we had a lot of fun there the other night mm. um there was a funky smell going down the toilet there but uh Apart from that, it was, it was awesome. It was pretty special to play in Birmingham as well. Um, mm. um, for me, personally, growing up, that, you know, that's where great music came from. So just to walk the streets was, was very cool, let alone play, play a show there. So, you know, like I grew up with Led Zeppelin, Black Sabbath, Uriah Heep, Deep Purple sort of stuff, and it all came from England. And, and so yeah, it's pretty special. Wembley? <laughs> <laughs> Hammersmith Odeon, is that even yeah. still a venue? Sometimes. You know, sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, iconic places like that. And, you know, for us, that, yeah, we're, we're reading reviews all the time about bands that have played in a lot of these venues that we're playing in now. So it's, it's all, yeah, pretty exciting. Um, we absolutely love this country. And, and the, the crowd's been awesome. Everyone's been really passionate about our, our music. And it's, it's just such a buzz to come to the other side of the world and meet people that get our music and really enjoy the, the album and stuff. So... It's yeah. awesome to come to the other side of the world and people who know who we are, and they're coming to the gigs. That's mm. that's that's a real buzz for us. So yeah, it's, um, it's even cooler because you know, every night we play, there's Kiwis in the crowd as well that have come over, yeah. and yeah, it's just it's cool. <laughs> there's heaps of them here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's great. Yeah. And uh, we owe Scotland a couple of gigs, so we'll be back there real, real soon. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs>